Hey guys, here we go. Anything else? Let me know when it's fun. Okay, but jeans at this place is great. Let's just stay here. I don't care about it. <laughs> no, you wouldn't want that now, would you? Well, anyway, yeah, it was really great seeing you. And um, if you could just drop the python off when you're done, uh, it, it's my favorite. So. Okay, will do.
tasty. million dollars to a humanitarian campaign to prevent rape and treat victims and build crisis centers. And? And going back to the years 2003 to 2005, in those two years alone, the U.S. contributed two billion dollars in assistance to refugee camps. Hmm, let's see. I'm not that good with numbers, but I know that whatever we're doing, it's not enough. Why is it always, what's the U.S. doing? Why isn't it about, what's the world doing? You mean, why not just pass the buck? Because people are starving. Women are being raped. Children are being enslaved and orphaned. And they had to evacuate instantly. I was scared because I didn't know where they go and wish we could have stayed. When my mom told me that we were leaving, I felt sad and I wish we didn't have to leave. The fire burned out of control for three days, consuming more than 9,000 acres. From their home in Duluth, 100 miles away, the Reesecrafts waited for news that their dogs were okay. We had called Susan's.
I hate you. Hi, I'm Tommy, and I'm your friend to the end. Heidi ho! Yeah, I'm sorry again, guys, if today is boring. Like I said, I want to save my money and there's hardly anything going on for me in my town. Boring, 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 boring. But on the other hand, when I do get a job, I want to let you know and remind you that I'm not going to film that day, okay? But on the days I don't film... Um, and stuff like that. I will do more out in the neighborhood because I'll be feeling better with my foot all better and my back problems all better. I'm very fucking determined. Hand to God, I am. Not gonna give up on that. And I'm interested in losing weight with the help of this, um, this meal kits. It's all prepared, chef friendly. Chefs made it. Um, I think I picked two. I don't know. Um, like, okay, give me a minute. I know Factor is one of them, but what is the other one? This right here. M I might want to try this one. Bistro MD. Weight loss meal. See. See, because I need somebody who will cook for me. Otherwise, if I cook for myself, the nutritionist would say, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. What am I going to do? Fucking starve myself, you know? So, see, it's like real stories. See how much they lost. Because, okay, see? So once I get a job, then I'll either try this or factor. Say factor. Um, okay, where's the menu? Weekly menu. See, and I gotta be careful where you see red hot peppers. I gotta avoid that because I can't have um, stuff like that. And manage my weight, I would say that. See, and I would hit continue.
shoot anybody before? I don't think so. Yeah, you won't give me that back. Same thing happened to a friend, but it's gonna happen to you. Never looked better. You're doing fine. Thanks. Hello, Gerald. It isn't Captain Clippard. Hey, guess who almost applied for unemployment today? I give up. You. But Mr. Corbin had second thoughts. You get so sentimental about the holidays. Imagine that. Yeah. I would have fired you in a second. Well, Merry Christmas to you, too. Excuse me, Mr. Jones. Hey, Elser. Look, I'm a junior vice president at 23. By the time I'm 25, I'm going to out of the sunlight. Sunlight will kill you. Keep him away from water. Don't give him any water to drink. And whatever you do, don't give him And probably the most important thing, don't ever feed him after mid. Twisted tea is a refreshing, hard iced tea made with real blue tea. Keep it twisted. I'm Donald J. Trump, and I approve this message. This is America's border czar, and she's failed us. Under Harris, over 10 million illegal a year. A quarter of a million Americans dead from federal. Brutal migrants. Oh, but I'm not gonna holler, I still got a dollar in when I get long. Oh, 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 I get high. Because when I get low, whoa!
know that it's wrong. But you better watch out about me then tonight, cause when I get low. Are you okay? Where are you? On the hatch. Get out of the house. <sighs> Mom? Mom? Billy, wait. Do you do what I need? G46. I-28. G-56. I-17. N forty O sixty two O sixty three I nineteen G forty nine I twenty seven I eighteen O sixty four Round over
Sir, please. We need to get everyone off the plane. You can speak with someone at the gate. I tried to protest, but she gently but firmly guided me down the jetway. I noticed the same hurried urgency in the other attendants, who were directing the remaining passengers with a quick, practiced efficiency. At the gate, I attempted to approach a few more staff members, but they either ignored me or brushed me off with vague promises that someone would help me soon. My questions about the missing passengers were met with nervous glances and polite, but unhelpful responses. It was clear that no one wanted to talk. Um, she called me, I guess the day that she was going to have the abortion, if that is what happened, uh, to tell me that she was going shopping. She was leaving work early and going shopping. That day, Judith went to her bank and withdrew $300. She told her friends that she was going to buy a watch. Police believe that Judith used the money for an illegal abortion. Uh, we were able to determine that she contacted a close friend of hers who uh, helped arrange an abortion through the suspect, uh, Dr. George Hodger. accounts and the state of Jordan's remains paints a horrifying picture of abuse and neglect. Evidence suggests Jordan was subjected to savage beatings. The blows to his tiny body were so severe they fractured multiple ribs and his left arm. These broken bones, found in various stages of healing, tell a story of ongoing relentless abuse. Compounding the physical abuse was severe neglect. Jordan, a growing boy who should have been gaining weight and strength, was instead starved. By the time he was found, Jordan weighed a mere 15 pounds, a shockingly low weight for a five-year-old child. Ultimately, it was a phone call from over 7,000 miles away that finally brought Jordan's plight to light.